Good afternoon. Welcome back. Uh, another day, another adventure. Today we're going to go to Chunda Valley. Yesterday we tried to, but due to the road blockage, I could not make it. Uh, right now I'm at the starting point of this climb towards Chunda Valley, which is at 9,160 feet. Uh, I said good afternoon because we're having a late start today. I need to work uh, on leaving hotel in time. So I'll keep you guys posted. Let's go and I will see you once we get up there. I've started my climb towards Chunda Valley. This valley, I've been told, is uh, very famous for its uh, spring blossom season. There are a lot of cherry trees uh, and around <clears throat> from 10th of April till 10th of May is a good time to visit. Uh, lush green valleys, once we get up there, this is complete off-road track. I am in my, I'm right now in four high. And this Jeep is just climbing easily. There's a local guy coming down on his motorbike. Last time I was here, I kind of uh, had some difficulties. There were a couple of big rocks that had slid down. And this is how you cross with incoming traffic. This is not too bad. But still, I'm on the edge. I was on the edge. Are we going up? Ooh, there's a sharp. Turn going up. Oh, look at this view from here. As I come around this bend, you will see uh, trees starting to change colors. I think autumn arrives at this altitude a little bit uh, quicker. Right now temperature outside is 70, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to stop here and let you guys see the view, see how high we have come up so far. I stopped here and tried to fly my drone. The sun is really bright in my eyes. And it uh, didn't let me because it, it says I'm in a no-fly zone. I, I guess there's an airport in this. This is probably an approach for the incoming aircraft. Anyway, I have to get a license, and which I'll do once I get to the top and I get good internet service. Look at this road behind me curving on the side of this mountain all the way down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view from up here on top. I'll keep uh, moving. Look at this valley we are coming up on. Beautiful view. I should have waited maybe a couple of more weeks to come here. But still, right now I'm at, uh, oh, look at these birds. Wow. Look at this house. This is how they live up here. So as I was telling you that um, they are making Chuna Valley into New Skirdu, and the plans are that government is gonna build uh, a road, a road to Chunda village. Uh, if you ask me, I would prefer it to keep it like this. Uh, I mean, I like the, the experience of off-road traveling 
and go, you know. Well, the grass has turned brown. So that tells me that it's getting cold. I'm gonna turn my wheel and kind of show you the view I'm looking at. Yeah, the grass is definitely brown. So that tells me fall is setting in. I see some cattle grazing. Cattle over here just the cattle just moves freely around here. Uh oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Oh my gosh. Do I have to back up all the way? Let's see. Well, I guess we're going back. <laughs> so let's check my driving skills going back. I've come up on this sign that says ISO. So for people who understand camera language, I guess this is where you stop to set your ISO on your camera. <laughs> I wonder what the ISO means over here. But anyway, it's a funny sign. Oh man. This kind of road helps you digest food. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be hungry once I get up to the top. I think my, oh, look at that goat. Wow, that goat is performing tricks. The goat is going up that branch to eat. Okay, let's keep going up. And now we meet a cow. I believe my guide has misguided me and we are headed to nowhere. <laughs> Mr. Guide, do you know where we're going? Oh, look at these two birds. Pretty, pretty birds. I'm gonna stop here for a minute. All right, we've come up. Oh! <laughs> I hit a rock. I was looking at a bird. I almost went up on a rock. That was pretty dumb of me. Not paying attention to the road and then hitting that rock with my left tire. This is what you call in the middle of nowhere. Right now we are trying to get on top of a mountain. The guy that I have with me, my friend, whose name is very lame guide. No, I'm just joking, he's a very good guy. He knows this very area very well. 
but uh, just to just as a precaution we have uh, asked for help from a local gentleman he is riding in my jeep right now and he's gonna help us navigate to get to the top of this mountain all right here we go I am in four low now just as a precaution So here I am, uh, right now I'm on the 7 percent incline, going up this mountain. If anybody ever doubted the performance of this Jeep power, here's a true test for you guys. Right now, 10 percent incline now. And this thing is just breezing through just fine. Just to give you an idea how high I have come in this Jeep, this was the valley that we were roaming in earlier and this is how far I have climbed. This has been a fun day. I mean, I never thought I would be doing so much extreme off-roading, going at a pitch level incline at 22% and uh wow the view is just breathtaking i can see the skirdu airport uh right there both runways i'm on top of chenda valley uh it's i think a little bit above 10,000 feet uh that i'm at right now this jeep performed oh my god i mean if anybody ever doubted the performance of this jeep the power of this jeep this Jeep did so well. I am so, so amazed uh, by the performances of this Jeep. I never thought that I would put it under such conditions and it will just, you know, it will just exceed and wow. Anyways, I'm gonna let you see the view that I'm looking at, at the airport, at the runway behind me, look at the valley. I'll let you guys soak in the sunset which is about to happen and if you can ever make it up here please do so I will tell you this is just breathtaking 